Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, here we are in this wonderful little park located here in Beverly Hills, right on the side of Sunset Boulevard and Beverly. This is one of my favorite parks in the whole city, but we are not here to do a story about this park. We are here to do a story about the Beverly Hills Hotel, which is located right across Sunset Boulevard, and it's been closed for the last two and a half years. It's opening up again, and to kind of give us a background on the history of this grand old hotel, we are starting with Bob Anderson, who, well, your claim to fame goes way back, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Um, my great-grandmother originally opened this hotel in May 13th of 1912 and uh, originally she'd owned the Hollywood Hotel and had come here um, to open this with Burton Green and Max Whittier who were the Rodeo Land and Water Company. Now I have seen pictures of this hotel in the early days and the thing that strikes me first is that there was nothing else around it. No, this was strictly lima bean fields from this section of the Hotel West and Beverly Hills was in the boondocks. This was this was quite an adventure to come here. There was absolutely nothing here. Every tree you see virtually has been planted in the city of Beverly Hills West. And as you will see in the pictures later that uh, there's, I mean, this was barren land. <laughs> Why did they build a hotel here? Well, basically, uh, Burton Green had approached my great grandmother to come and open up the hotel so that people would come here and look at the surrounding land and buy homes and buy land to build homes here to make this a residential community. So this was a way to get people out to this part of town to buy property and build houses. Absolutely. Uh, they had originally come here looking for oil, and oil wasn't to be found in this area. And they drilled and they found a lot of water, so they decided that they would build home sites and around, around the hotel that people would come and stay at the hotel. Now, did the hotel take off from the very beginning? Was it a, was, did it become a central part of life from the very beginning? Well, actually, when it first opened, they had to hire extras from the studios to come up and stand around and make it look like it was busy. Uh, it was very tough going from the start, uh, but as things went along, uh, it was a very family-oriented hotel that the families would come from back east and book, book three or four months at a time to come and stay here. I've seen pictures of children playing out in the yard, of picnics and parties. It was obviously a center for the community out here. Absolutely, there were uh, there was a 300 person movie theater within the hotel, there were cotillion dances, there was a school for children on the premises, um, a lot of sports activities, riding, polo was available close by, the Los Angeles Country Club for golf, it was a very active uh, hotel. And I've seen pictures of some wonderful old movies you've shared with us of Will Rogers pulling up in front of the hotel the day that he was named honorary mayor. Yes, sir. Um, in 1926, uh, the city of Beverly Hills bestowed that honor upon Will Rogers, and the whole community uh, turned out for him. He was uh, a beloved person here in Beverly Hills. Who came up with the idea for the design and the wonderful look of the hotel? Because it's been striking since, it's, since it was first built. Well, Elmer Gray was the architect, and he worked along with my great-grandmother and Burton Green to design the hotel. And they designed it in such an aspect that every room in the hotel got sunlight at one point of the day or another. And it was the first hotel to have bungalows that uh, for private residences for people coming and staying. It had tennis courts, but I mentioned to you when we were looking through the pictures, it didn't have a swimming pool. Not originally. People were very conscious of their bodies back in the early 1900s. And so there were two tennis courts, but later on they did put in a swimming pool. So it wasn't accepted yet to go swimming in pools no, uh, at a hotel? No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a great family history. Your, your great grandmother and grandfather Stay ran me. this hotel. Right. Uh, until when? 1928, and they sold it in 1928, uh, just before the Depression, for approximately $3 million. Wow. And um, then it sat vacant for quite some time during the Depression. We got to mention, before we move on, you also supplied us a wonderful picture of the original Polo Lounge, which doesn't look anything like the Polo Lounge we've all grown to know and love. 
No, the original polo lounge was the children's dining room, which is quite appropriate, I think. Uh, a lot of a lot of fun happens in that room. When did it become not the children's dining room? <laughs> well, Hernando Courtright, when people were originally playing polo at the Will Rogers Park, uh, would come and have and have cocktails afterwards, that's how it got its name, that uh, some celebrities would come and play there and then they'd come here afterwards and have a cocktail. So that brings us in to Mark Wanamaker. Mark, you're gonna bring us up to date on what has happened. You're kind of the historian of, of, of the movie industry and of Beverly Hills, of what happened to this hotel after the Depression and the Andersons no longer owned it and ran it. Well, first of all, during the Depression, as Bob just said, uh, Cesar Romero had a wonderful story. In the mid of the Depression, he would actually roller skate with friends of his down the, uh, the driveway when nobody was around, and they just loved the place. They had the whole place to themselves. And unfortunately, he's not with us to tell us the story again, but it was wonderful. But there are a lot of stories connected with movie stars and this hotel. You've shown us a picture of, was it Gloria Swanson at the, no, it wasn't Gloria Swanson. Well, I have both Gloria and Marlena Dietrich. Marlena Dietrich yes. at the polos, uh, posing at the polo bar. Yes, well, the polo lounge, as, as was just said, you know, was a place where stars would come and have their drinks. Well, they also use it for promotional reasons. We have a wonderful shot of Marlena Dietrich sitting at the bar, dressed in all of her finery, a fashion shot, you might say, sitting there, I mean, used of course, for prom uh, promotion for films, promotion for fashion, or just publicity. It helps the hotel and helps the film industry. Now, what's the deal on the hotel? Because it's a beautiful hotel, but mm -hmm. is it because of its location that's created such a, such a place for itself? Is it because of its color? How long has it been this color? Well, the color, this kind of a color, the pink, had an idea of the Hawaiianizing of this area, a resort idea, you understand, uh -huh. to upgrade it, to, uh, to bring it up to date after World War II. Before World War II, of course, it was, you know, it was a normal uh, colors that they used to paint these uh, Mediterranean Spanish types of buildings. So it hasn't always been pink. No, it was not always pink, but this pink idea, of course, came into being with a new life, new world after World War II. Uh, this uh, idea with palm trees, the, uh, the tropics, you see, you have this pink idea. Okay, we got the pink idea. And saying goodbye to Mark and Robert, I was off for a personal tour of this wonderful hotel, which is such a part of the Southern California landscape. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Huell House. Well, welcome to the Valleyus Hotel. Uh, my name is Kerman Barker. I'm the general manager. Why don't you show you around? And I tell you what, you've got a lot going on yes, here. Yes, we need to be ready. We you are ready, ready for your grand opening after yes. having been closed for two and a half, and years. half years. Exactly. But from what I remember, these are the same exactly colors. The same. Here is exactly the same. The red carpet. Exactly. The facade of the building, exactly the same. No change. I mean, if you look at from outside, you may even ask me, why did you close for two and a half years? <laughs> well, you're going to see inside. What's the deal behind the red carpet? Was that always well, something maybe. to make people sure, feel important? Sure, certainly. You're entering the Bavillius Hotel. Okay, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're Go entering ahead, the new Beverly Hills yes, Hotel. Renovated. Going, please. Well, the place is yeah. bustling. You got yes, work indeed. going on. We are, we are going to be ready. This is the new tool, tea lounge. We're going to be able to serve tea in an afternoon aperitif. And the as new you see, tea lounge. Tea lounge. New. Now, this wasn't here before. No, no, this is new. You know, the art guests, the customers, they always used to ask me, we love to have some place we can ever come here afternoon tea and an aperitif in the lobby we just built for them now uh -huh. so this is going to be a place where people sit yes. in the afternoon you see there this the piano the steinway gold leaf piano specially done for us and this is the new entry to the crystal ballroom sort of sort of when you dress beautifully the ladies will enter the grand entry to the ballroom wow and look at this chandelier yes, this chandelier has come from italy and it's all this marble from italy as well here you are walking down. Can you imagine when you dress, everybody's around, everybody's watching you entering there? <laughs> <laughs> You're coming down. Here's, here's another landing here. You just make yourself, make sure that you look more beautiful. And then you are coming down. And now this here, is all new, isn't it? Exactly. Everything is new here. And here you are, you know, a little messy there, but we are going down to do uh, the crystal foyer, and then we go in the crystal ballroom. But I like to show you the pool. Ah, and, the and pool. And the famous pool, which is, uh, we still maintain those 52 phone lines. 
52 you know, telephone 52, lines yes. out by the pool. Yes, and sometimes even the guests, they pay themselves, you know, but that's all right. <laughs> this is here, our new citrus garden. You know, the people that they come from the East Coast, some of them, they never seen a citrus tree. You know, we have a grapefruit tree, the orange trees and tangerine trees. And also in the afternoon, if you want to read a book or something, you can have your drink and sit down oh, very this peacefully. Is beautiful. The citrus garden. And this is the, uh, you can see from outside, this exterior, this grand staircase. Oh, this is the grand staircase yeah, we just it. came down right yes, here. Exactly. And here, this is way to our famous pool. Now, why is this pool so famous? There are a lot of pools in Beverly Hills. Well, you know, this is going back so many years, since 1912. So many, uh, even the, uh, please go ahead. So many even stars, they have been discovered here. Discovered Yes, here. I think Raquel Welch was discovered by the pool. <laughs> Raquel Welch was? Yes, yes, that's what I have been told. <laughs> now is, oh, well, here are your famous yes, cabanas. Yes, cabanas, yes, yes. Really, uh, these are very uh, on demand and there's not too many. And, they, and everybody would like to have their own uh, corner, or own number. Then they come over the years. They always, for example, they want to have the Cabana 5 or Cabana 6 all the time. Now this is just is. magnificent. This Sunset yes, Boulevard is. right out here. Is this, this is pretty much like it's always. Exactly, marked, isn't no change it? at all, no change. So as I mentioned to you, the polo lounge and the pool and the uh, cafeteria, the, the coffee shop remain exactly the same. Unchanged. Unchanged, unchanged. Who's this fellow over here? This is our uh, famous full manager, Sven. Howdy. Hi, Mr. Hauser. Nice to see you, sir. I'm Huell Hauser. Nice yes, to sir. meet you, sir. Pleasure. Tell us a little bit. Let's stand out here so we can get a shot of these world famous. These cabanas. are the, they are the cabanas that they everybody sure wants. Yes, uppers and lowers. Uh -huh. yeah. Uppers and lowers. Yes, yeah, you see the uppers are up there. Oh. If you want yeah. to be private, you are on the upper level. If oh. you want to be together with the crowd, the lower level. You have business level. meetings and stuff, you know. Now you've been here how many years? Thirty-three years, sir. So you know what goes on out here. A lot of business. A lot of business. A lot of entertainment. I've sure. seen pictures of stars sitting out here. A lot of them. Every star in Hollywood has been here, sir. Really? Yes. Now, is it a kind of a place that if a star comes, they know they're not going to be bothered? No exactly. One, no one is this allowed is to right ask now, them for we autographs? Have, we have uh, strict security here, and we let people alone. Their privacy is very important to us. Mm -hmm. Well, you're probably ready to get back to work, aren't you? I'm anxious. I can't wait. What have you been doing for two and a half years? I worked for two years out at Westwood Marquis. Uh -huh. And it couldn't go fast enough for the two and a half years to come back. Yeah. And now I think everybody is so excited to open. And uh, we're working very hard, but uh, it's going to be perfect. Well, the place looks marvelous. It is. It <laughs> feels good to get back. <laughs> I'll come out and see you. Where is the where is the where are the famous phones? He oh was God, saying there are 52. 52. We got it, sir. So each each telephone is in each cabana, uh -huh. and we have uh, all against the the uh, over there against the wall. We have telephones. We have telephones over there where the booth are in the cafe. So it's a big deal to get paged or get a call at poolside. It's very important. Yes, if you haven't been paged at the Beverly Hills Hotel, you haven't been nowhere. Gosh, I'm feeling very insecure all of a sudden. I guess I should come out here and page you. Let's page you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it wouldn't be the real thing. Only when I know it's the real thing. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hauser, very and, much. And starting right away, this is where we're going to be able to find you, right out here at the side of the pool. Every day, sir. With Welcome. a bunch of stars and, and everybody is going to be here. Well, I'm sure that everyone who comes in here is treated like a star. Everybody is a VIP down here and in the hotel. We treat everybody the same way. Well, nice to meet you, it's sir. A pleasure having We're you. We're off. Thank you very much. Thanks, Fred. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, Bye -bye. this is a beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Here is, it, it's our famous coffee shop. The famous coffee exactly. shop. And it's, it's exactly the same. Even the chairs, we maintain the same chairs, just painting them. The look is exactly the same. Even you can see the same type of food that we used to serve before. Now, was the idea that you took some of the, the more famous parts of the hotel and just early on exactly. said, we're not going to touch them? Exactly. Howdy. I'm Huell Hauser. How you doing? Good to see you. Well, are you ready to open up? Oh, yes, we're ready. Now, this is a famous place. You've got a lot of pressure now. It's got to be just as good as it ever was. Uh -huh. 
It uh, is since 1912. We're going to keep it the same. Uh -huh. So when you work here, you feel this sense of tradition? Uh, very much so. Yeah. This is my other uh, cook, uh, Jane. She's the lead ah, in the morning. Mr. Hauser, how, how are you are doing? You? Let me get this. I am wonderful, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Well, now, you've got a lot of pressure on you. You've got to keep the tradition of the place going. The food's got to be as good as it ever was. The ambiance has got to be the same. That's true. We're giving 110% and hoping we're going to keep everybody happy, and I think we will. And I think we're going to be successful at doing that. So you're inviting everybody to come down to the... Fountain Coffee Shop mm -hmm. and enjoy breakfast or lunch or uh, dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're at the Beverly Hills Hotel, so whatever you want, we'll supply. Okay, here we go up the stairs. This yes. is all the same. Exactly the same. And the polo lounge yeah, should be... Just there. Right here. Exactly the same. It's just world-famous polo lounge. Oh, boy. You're entering to... And here's and a here world famous a, guy. Yes, this is our Mr. Dean. Dean you know. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Polo Lounge. How are you doing? Very well, very well. Delighted to be back here. Now, you have been here how many years? Oh, I started here in 1968. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you know all the stories. You know where all the bodies are buried. You're ready to write a book every, when you retire. Every, well, I don't, I don't think I'm going to write a book. No, no. But I know every square inch of the place. Uh -huh. And it looks the same. It really hasn't changed at all. It looks the same. I want to go over to the bar. Well, you're getting some orientation over here, probably. Yes, yes. They're having but a little this training. is the bar where yeah. I saw the famous picture of Marlena Dietrich. Yes, yes. And seated right actually, here. Actually, you asked me, nothing has changed. For me, you mind uh, stepping out just a little bit, fellows? See over here, please. No, no, that's fine here. You're fine here. This is what's new to me. But I understand this was there all the time. It that was sort picture? Of, uh, yes, it was behind something that they had put in front, and during the construction, they discovered this. And uh, to me, I think that's one of the greatest things here. There were another polo scene there, and the, it was damaged, and we wanted to, do, you know, refurbish that. When we pulled that one down, this was under. Oh, wow, yeah. so that's, that's an original. That's, that's the original one, because we have a picture, I'm sure I can show you, the Marlene Dietrich staying in this one of this chair, right. just the, the behind the scene that that That's was the up. picture behind Ex her. Exactly. Uh, well, we're, we're just playing polo there. You've kept uh, the same colors, the same color scheme. Is exactly. It green. Exactly the same color. You got the phones, yes. the power the phones. phones. Yeah, they have to be here. Uh huh. Yes. And as soon as it opens up, do you expect your old time clientele yes. to be right back? Oh, definitely, definitely. They'll be back. They all been waiting to this the rebirth of this place, and I got so many calls. You know how? What happened? You know. Yeah. Uh, because some were concerned or something, I tell them, God, the place, it looks the same. And it looks much better. And you, what they've done, you know, to the lobby and right. the rest of the hotel is really now the way it should have been all the time. You've got to remember yes. where everybody sits. Yes. What table, who wants to sit where? Well, like uh, over there, Ed McMahon sits at that table. Jackie Collins sits over here. Uh, if we have Charlton Heston over here, I can tell you everybody where I used to sit also, the mm -hmm. people that left us, of course. John Wayne used to sit over here. Oh, boy. And uh, George Pepard, that was his boot over here. Raymond Massey, that was his boot over there. A lot wow. of history to this place. Wow. Well, it's wonderful that it's back. Yes. And do you, I know this sounds a little corny, but for your new employees here, there are a lot of young people yes. uh, here. Do you try to give them a little bit of, uh, instill a little bit of that history and that pride in them to kind of let them know what it is they're carrying on That's here? That's right. That's what we've been doing for the last two months. A lot of training, a lot of talking about the history of the hotel, how important this place is, how important the job is, how to know everything. They tasted some of the food that the chef has been preparing, and we have a wonderful new chef with excellent food and a menu that I think everybody will be delighted. Well, we got to finish our tour. As yes. we walk out, I'm kind of curious what your feeling is about what it is about this place that made it what it was. I mean, there are a lot of rooms and a lot of hotels around town. What is it about the Polo Lounge? Well, you just said it. You see, the Polo Lounge by itself, it's nothing. I mean, it's just walls and carpet and tables. It's the people that make the place. Yeah. That's the whole thing. And they've always been here. Yes. You know, I saw a picture, an old picture, of the original polo lounge when it was used as a children's dining room. That's correct. 
That's when he started. And that's where the polo players that used to play polo behind here started coming in here in the afternoon when it wasn't occupied by the children. That's why and they called uh, it the Polo Lounge. Yes. That it simple. came from that uh, name. Yes. So Will Rogers was in this very oh, definitely, room. Definitely. You don't remember that. No, I wasn't <laughs> here then. But I remember uh, his son was here for the uh, 50th anniversary of the Polo Lounge with his horse. They almost ate the cake. <laughs> yes. See, there's one of the stories he's going to be putting in his book. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> nice to meet you. I look forward to seeing you after the place opens pleasure. back I up again. I always admire you, Shorts. I'm going to come in here and make some big deals. You better believe it. Better <laughs> believe We're it. off. And here we are coming our uh, tennis court. We have two. And in our famous uh, tennis for Alex. Uh, Hi, I'm <laughs> Huel Hauser from KCET. How are you, How are you nice doing? Well, well, let's go out on the tennis you. court for a minute here. Well, here we had a beautiful tennis court here, brand new. You can see the, the court number one, the court number two over here. Now, I've seen old pictures of the tennis courts here. Is this where they originally were when they were built? No, we moved them up a little bit. They were closer to Sunset Boulevard, but now because of the location, the, the beautiful build-up of the hotel, they had to move them a little bit up uh, north. So you so. got some new tennis courts out of oh, this Oh, yes, place. brand new. Oh, brand new. Come over here and take a look at it. Court number one is so beautiful. Now, do most of your guests play tennis? Oh, yes, a lot of them. We have a great percentage of guests that play tennis. You know, we have a lot of celebrities that like to play tennis. And the game of tennis is growing so much, uh -huh. you know, that this, it's an unbelievable Oh, look. Oh, look at these things. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, this is a great spot. Look at the, the view. People can come over and watch from the second floor. So you got to be excited about getting back to work here, too. How oh, many yes, years have you been yes. here? Oh, I was here for about 27 years. I've been, you know, I've been resting a little bit, recuperating. Now I'm ready to go again. <laughs> Good. You brought back some <laughs> of the, oh, I hate to say old timers. No, That's not no, what no. I meant. They but are the most important people, really, certainly. Oh, sure. The tradition must continue. Now we're going back into the jungle. Yes, <laughs> we're back going back to the, through the bungalows to the lobby. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Well, Somebody's already getting some special well, service well, right here. Ahead, Come on ahead, through. You go ahead. You go ahead. Let's see if everything is nice. OK, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's going back to, uh, oh, this is you know, you, you, you could be any place. I mean, really, it's a, it's a resort hotel here. I mean, in the, in the middle of the city with a, two tennis courts and the, the Olympic-sized pool. What can you find? It's nowhere, really. Well, where should we end up? We should end up maybe to, uh, to entry. To Back like where we started. To say you goodbye. Yeah, because I always got lost wandering yeah, around out here. <laughs> you can do that, can't you? Oh, you very easily. You can't really get lost in this. Uh, now, this is the back entrance to the polo lounge. That's correct, yeah. OK, I, it's all Just coming to back to me now. Exactly, yeah. Well, you know, any place you are, if you don't go there a few years, you forget. Even sometimes, you know, people, if you don't see them, you forget their names. You know, you know who they are, but you may not remember. You need to have a continuous contact to remember things. You know, there really is a sense of excitement here. Yeah. Yes. You know, after four and a half years, the two years planning, two and a half years construction, and June 3rd, <laughs> it's so, here. So you planned this for, for years before two, you even... Two years planning, really, took us, and then the two and a half years construction time. Now, what are all these people standing here for? Is there... Uh, what are you standing here for? We're building. Oh, well, there's no one in the hotel yet. We have a few guests already. Oh, really? Yes. They've already... But we have a couple more coming in, so we're all posted up to say hello and help them if they need assistance. Now, are you excited about being a bellman at the Beverly Hills Hotel? Oh, very much. This is a great opportunity. Do you see it as a kind of a history, uh, you know, the history of the hotel well, well, and the tradition? Can, and You can tell by all the people that are coming in to interview what a historic moment it's going to be when we open. Yeah. It's going to be the best hotel in the country. I mean, you're not just saying that because the no, general manager is no, standing no, right here. Boy, this are, man knows exactly no, what to say. No, they are going to do it. I'm not going to do it. They are going to do it. <laughs> and they are committed to do it, too. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very good much. Good luck. We'll uh, see these gentlemen right here much. at the front. Here, there are and more. And here are yeah. more right here. more right here. Are you excited about this? Very excited, sir. Now, why are you so excited? He said it was the best hotel in the country. I believe it's the best in the world. Really? We will have the best clientele in the world as well. So you're ready to 
Have they already kind of told you how to treat the stars when they come in? What have they told you? Are you supposed to make a big to-do or be low-key about it? or Treat everybody with a lot of dignity and respect and uh, extend. Uh, this, is a, this is their home away from home. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're here to do. Just welcome them and make them feel at home. So you've really, come on in. Oh, thank this you. is your home. <laughs> you ready? Very much so. Yeah. This first time you've worked in a hotel? Or? No, I've worked in some luxury hotels in the area. So how do you think this is going to compare? Uh, there'll be no comparison. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. thrilled to be here. Well, you've got everybody ready. <laughs> yes, we are ready. ready. Let's walk out. <laughs> right. These guys will hold Thank the door you. open for us. That's great. Thank you. Thanks, fellas. Thank you. And we'll say goodbye out here. Yes. Well, this has been very exciting for me, and it just dawned on me that I think one of the reasons this is so exciting is that people haven't really known what's been going on in here for two and a half years. Have you purposely kept all of this a well, secret? I think it's, I, I shouldn't use a secret. We I purposely kept it because I want to show to the final product. Instead of giving uh, bits and pieces and everything, and the, maybe it won't be some impact now, as you see, as we are ready and we're welcoming everybody to come back. Because people don't really know how much you've changed it, how much will be the same, how much has been changed. It's really kind of a mystery for people who want to come and see what the old place looks like. They are all going to be pleasantly surprised. They are going to love it. And I'll tell you what, too, on a personal note, I am so used to doing stories about landmarks in our city closing or yeah. being destroyed yeah. or being torn down or going out of business mm -hmm. it is a real pleasure to be standing here under this wonderful old green and white yes. striped is it uh, still the same <laughs> uh, on the red carpet this wonderful old pink hotel and instead of closing down it literally is having new life breathed back into it I think it's a wonderful feeling for everybody and the residents for us and employees and the, uh, our customers. Uh, I think a great feeling, really. Well, you're going to have people wandering around in here. You know that, don't we you? We are ready for them. We're ready for them. We're, we, I can't wait to welcome them. Okay. <laughs> You've made us well, feel thank welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I hope to see you back soon. I'll be back you know soon. The, I'm uh, waiting to be paged by the pool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we will organize that. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.